What's up, everybody? And today we're checking out Korean Special Force Sniper reacts to American Gun Shop for the first time. This is by someone called Mission Possible. Um, I will leave a link, as always, uh, down in the description, first line of the description. If you want to go and check out their videos, uh, you can certainly go and do that by going down in the description. Check out the YouTube channel. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this channel because we are almost at half a million subscribers and we're going to have some fun when it happens. We're going to do a live stream and it's going to be a ton of fun. So definitely do that if you've not already. This is an interesting video. I got sent this video that I'm excited to watch because um, obviously I am British. I was in the British Royal Marines Commandos, um, but I'm also a US citizen. I just spent the last nine years living in America where I have been into stores like this. And uh, I know that weird experience as a foreigner at the time i'm now obviously american which is i'm proud to say but going into them stores for the first time as a foreigner it's a very interesting experience um and i want to see what it's like for someone from uh korea i think that would be really cool to watch um this will be obviously subtitled so make sure you're watching the subtitles i'm not going to read out every single thing they say i've done that in previous videos and it's just exhausting uh but yeah if you want to check out the video without me waffling down in the description uh what else do i need to say i think that's it Let's just watch it. Let's just have some fun and let's uh, see what they've got to say about this. <laughs> Do you know what? I really appreciate it when YouTubers go somewhere and ask permission to film first. Please always do that. Don't just storm in somewhere, start filming people without their consent. It's just weird. It's wrong. It's uncomfortable and it's stupid. So be like this person. Go and ask if you can film first because that's really important. Alright, let's see where it is. That 511 brand, I've seen that quite a few times. Um, I was actually tempted, I was going to buy one of their belts not long ago um, for doing some hiking and bushcraft stuff, um, but I ended up skipping and going with something else. But it's a really good brand for clothing. If you haven't checked that out, it's like 511. You should check it out if you haven't already. Does he have to wear all the multicam? Does he have to wear all that? I get it. It looks cool. It looks great. It looks great wearing it around, but I couldn't wear that out and about. I just couldn't do it. I don't have the body body type for it. <laughs> I just look like a slug. <laughs> Back in the day, I would have looked better doing it. Wow, <laughs> He's, he's liking everything he sees in it. I mean, at the end of the day, the culture in the US, and I, I went into plenty of gun stores in the US, um, the, cult, the culture um, of competition with these brands makes um a lot of good equipment you know having that kind of competition between these different companies to get the best stuff and it's not only that a lot of the people who work at these companies are incredibly passionate about what they do and so if there's something that they're like oh i could really do with changing this they do it even if it's a small company and so they innovate really really well when it comes to just general military equipment and that's why when you go into gun stores in america they're really really good even when you don't go into a specific gun store like um, I lived in Maine for seven years, and you go into L.L. Bean. If you haven't been in there, it's like an outdoor uh, recreation store, but they also have, like, hunting gear. And the weapon section, the, the 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 bow section, the rifle section, obviously, it's mostly, like, hunting rifles, but it's incredible. Like, the amount of gear they have is honestly amazing, to be honest with you. 
That's that brand, 511. Can I just say, with um, when it comes to military clothing, I, I had this experience in the Royal Marines where um, well, I did pre-deployment training. They give you a lot of gear, and you find out very quickly what is useful and what's not. Um, having a lot of pouches on you, I don't personally think is very useful. Obviously, I had like the traditional webbing. I had ammo around there but i just don't think that having pouches all over your body armor is is, is actually that useful i think um and, and a lot of people a lot of veterans are agreeing with this keeping things simple is most important so when you go into these stores like this guy's doing he's like excited to see he's like oh my god that'd be great oh my god that'd be great but then if he bought all the stuff he wants when he got home he would find out very quickly what he actually needs and what he's just like this is a good idea in concepts, but it just doesn't work. Um, that happens quite a lot with with gear because people get excited and rightly so. By the way, I really want to go to Korea. I really, really want to go to Korea. I'd love to. It's one of my, one of the bucket list places. That and uh, I want to go to New Zealand so I can go to Hobbiton and see where Lord of the Rings is filmed. But between that and Korea, they're like the two places I really want to go. So much Velcro. Yeah, you can get armor for the, like plates for your sides. No one wears them though. Or if you do, then fair play to you, but no one's really bothered about that stuff. Okay, so he's got a good point there. In countries like the UK where you can't go to the store and buy this stuff, um, you get given what you get given in the military. And that's why uh, some of the British forces are known for when they meet other countries' military, they try and trade as much as possible. Oh, what would you take to give us, you know, that type of ammo pouch or whatever? And they customize that way. You know, they, they're not necessarily allowed to, but they do anyway just to use better equipment. And especially in the Royal Marines where... People will notice, they'll be like, is that an American pouch? I'm just giving out an example. And then you'll turn around and be like, yeah, because look at this, and it'll be really good, and then everyone will want one, and then be trying to trade for one. It happens all the time. <laughs> You can tell he's like amazed, can't you? He's like looking around like a kid in a freaking candy store. He's loving it, isn't he? So obviously he was a sniper, so he has different expertise than I do. But um, I didn't necessarily wear much eye protection. You get issued it uh, for when you go abroad and do um, operations. And a lot of people do wear them. Um, and I think that... So you've got to take it on a um, 
operation basis, right? When I was out on ship, it wasn't necessarily as important as someone who went to Afghan, right? Because if you if an IED explodes 100 meters away, you could get dust and shit in your eyes, right? So we, that in that scenario, it's incredibly important. I'm pretty sure most of the lads wore them. Um, not to mention how sunny it was being out on patrol there. So a lot of lads wore them, I'm pretty sure. Um, but when I was on ship, because my specialty, I did anti-piracy, we would use sunglasses every now and again because it can definitely get shiny, especially reflecting off the sea, and especially in the place we were. But it's not like a 100% necessary thing. Um, and so he's talking about more about, you know, the firearms related part and how stuff can come back into your eyes, which it can, but I don't see that as 100% a reason to wear them. I mean, you probably would have your own opinions in the comments, and I'd love to hear them as well, to be fair. 괜찮을 하고 있으면 변경이 터지면은 이쪽 다 날아가잖아. 그럼 눈이 날아간단 말이야. 그런 것도 있고 파이어 할때 제일 중요한 게잘 봐야 되는데 눈이 다치면 안 되니까 눈은 무조건 보호를 해야 돼요. He's not wrong. 스코프가 달려 있다. 없어요. 작살은 싸운 적 있는데. Wow. You know what? I had a crossbow years ago before I went in the Royal Marines and it still hung up in my mom and dad's shed. I should get it and hang up the crossbow here behind me, shouldn't I? Do you want to see a crossbow? I'll get it. I'll get it. Alright, I want to see him looking at the firearms. Here we go. Yeah, I'm not a fan of drum barrels, uh, drum uh, magazines, sorry. I think that they, ha they, de <laughs> they definitely have their use case, don't they? But they are very clunky and big, um, and I... People in the military are not going to use them. Um, or they may do. Depends on the, on the person, doesn't it? But I very much doubt people would be using them. But um, in American culture, where you can just go and shoot wherever you want, not necessarily wherever you want, but when you're going down the range and you're shooting, uh, the fun in that instance, aren't there? Uh, yeah, he's, he's excited to see these weapons, like the MP5. Uh, I never got to shoot an MP5, unfortunately. I really wish I could have. Um, but he was saying they were used for counter-terrorism. We, I mean, I feel like this is common knowledge because of video games. MP5, quick firing, small, light weapon. Um, and that's why it's used for, for anti-terrorism and, and a lot of CQB and stuff like that. It's just a very quick, small rifle, um, with a very, very sharp barrel, which is incredibly important if you're doing CQB and stuff like that. I, I feel like I'm saying this stuff and a lot of people are like, yeah, we already know that, Luke. Just in case there's anyone who's not watching, let's 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 account for them as well. Anyone who who's watching who doesn't understand this stuff, let's account for them as well. Do you know what I mean? The British was also there. 좀 오르미를 바뀌면서 저희 처음에 K1을 개조해 가지고 쓰다가 지금까지 넘어온 거거든요. 그 전까지는 MP 계속 썼었어요. 지금도 이제 경특 이런 데는 MP 쓰는 것도 있고 변다가라 쓰는 걸로 알고 있어요. 왜냐면 9mm여 가지고 9mm가 사람 간통을 안 되는 걸로 알고 있어서 그렇게 썼는데 간통이 돼. Yeah, I mean we there's a lot of people who probably watching this that are already well aware of that. Uh, the 9mm it's just it's, it's the MP5 is a very very versatile weapon and again if you watch some of my other videos, I don't know whether a video comes out before or after this, but it's about the new uh, US Army rifle. And they talk about changing the caliber. It might come out after this. Um, I talk about versatility when it comes to military equipment and how important it is that something is incredibly easy to use and is incredibly durable and can be modified for the future. And that's how a weapon or a bit of equipment stays in the military for a long time. And the MP5 just seems to be one of them that lingers around, kind of like the M4. It just lingers around forever because it's a very, very good weapon. It's hard to break and it has very good use case. That small, compact weapon is a bit bigger than something like a handgun that uses the same 9mm, but it's the same use case as a rifle in a smaller format so that you can use it within CQB and anti-terrorism and stuff. It's a very quick and easy weapon to use. Oh, 
와, 야, 잘 만들었네. 그걸 안 달아. 두 개가 네. 달아야 돼. 여기 와. 근데 여기서 총알이 나간다고 생각하면, 어, 와, 되게 빡세다. 짜릿하지 않아? 네. 이거는 Holy, I've not seen one of them before. That's sick. <웃음> Holy. 어떤 거냐면 보시면 여기에 한 발이 먼저 들어갈 거 안에. 여기에 총 14발이 들어가요. 총 15발이 들어가고 이쪽 라인을 다 쓰면 I've not seen one of them before. Maybe I have, but... 자, 요즘 대세는 이 조준간 단발과 I don't remember if I have. 양쪽 다 있어요. 세이프티 파이어가 그래서 이 손으로 움직이는 사람도 편하고 아니면 이쪽에 움직이는 사람도 편하게 와... 이거는 거의, 거의 장난감 총 같다. 맞죠? 봐. 이건 거의 장난감 총이지. <laughs> He's loving that, and look at his face. He absolutely loves it. The owner is looking worried. <laughs> oh my god. This is out of my expertise. AK variants. I shot one using blanks to play an uh, enemy for the S the special forces um, for a little exercise that they need. They needed some lads to play enemy, and we used AKs with blanks. Um, but other than that, I haven't really used an AK, so I don't really know. I don't really know. Uh, much about them which is a, would be a cool interesting video to be fair i've messed about with them you know i i haven't shot regular rounds i've only shot blanks i've you know i've changed the mag i've messed about with it and looked at it but i haven't really like gone deep into the ak kind of world of weapons <laughs> Wow. That one is from Serbia, the Yugoslavian. Yugoslavia. Wow, this is a big one. This is a Russian Yugoslavian but it's much bigger. Wow, this is a big one. This is a big one. I'm going to eat this one. I'm going to eat this one. I'm going to eat this one. I wonder if he has a translator there for the um, owner. But at the same time, when he was messing about with that, what looked like a shotgun, they were saying that the owner looks worried, so maybe they don't have a translator. I'm gonna watch some more of this guy's videos. I think that's actually really cool. I like I like this like vibe that he's going for. It's is with a lot of military channels, it's always a lot of anger and seriousness and frustration and a lot of I'm not gonna get into it, but a lot of military YouTube channels do a lot of hate videos, right? Oh, we don't like this, we don't like that. His energy in this is just upbeat and happy about everything. He's just happy to see these guns. He's happy to have some fun. I like it a lot, whether it's, you know, in my language or not, I'll certainly read the subtitles for a video that's this fun and entertaining, to be honest with you. I do oh, I remember talking to someone about this why they don't have a safety on them I forgot what it is there's some other uh, mechanism on, on them oh what is it that's honestly doing my head in now i know there's a reason they took the safety off some of them and i can't remember what it is someone will let me know in the comments and remember it um but i remember when someone first told me they're taking the, they've taken the safety off the weapon it might have been a different weapon to be fair 
Um, but when someone told me it's a safety, I was like, why? Like, that seems like a stupid idea. And then there was an actual reasoning behind it that made sense. God, what was it? Can't remember. Can't remember. Someone will let me know in the comments. <laughs> He's so happy. He's like walking around. Like, look at this. Look at this. Oh, check this out. Oh, check this out. <laughs> a lot of people who are American won't understand this, but when you go into a store that you just don't have them stores in your country, I obviously grew up in England. You don't have these stores in England. And so when you go in and you've seen all this stuff, you really are like, oh my God, look at that. Oh my God, look at that. And you're moving about a lot. My first experience of seeing weapons in a store in America, it was probably Walmart, but like properly, it was probably L.L. Bean, um, which if you've been to the big, L the big L.L. Bean store in Maine, it's really cool. And although they don't have like this amount of weaponry and they don't have these type of weapons, it's mostly just rifles and handguns. Even still, you look and you're like, oh my God. And they have like classic weapons as well, like really expensive engraved ones. And you look and you're like, you just, it's almost as if you just can't take your eyes off these things, you know? Oh, cool kit. Wow. Oh, it's really nice. It's really nice. It's really nice. It's really nice. So my guess is after this, he takes these this ammo and maybe some weapons and goes shooting. Which I'd love to watch that video as well, to be honest. Some 762. <laughs> size of that round is mental that shooting something like that absolutely mental <laughs> it's not weird. I mean, at the end of the day, he's in the military and this is his speciality and he's gone into a store where it's just full of custom unique gear of course he's going to be excited yeah so they're going shooting in another video he's got a, it looks like he's got a bit of a clip at the end of him shooting I'm definitely going to check out some more of their videos. Make sure it's in the description. Go over to the channel. Give it a like and all that lot. He shoots the silver play button. This is a really, really good video. I'm honestly very interested in his stuff. Let's have a look what else they've got real quick. Oh, so it's not all necessarily um, weapon... Uh, related or military related although there is a lot of military stuff it looks like he's got fitness stuff and i see a bow and arrow over there and yeah there's a bit of all sorts 
on the channel. But it looks like a solid channel. I'm definitely going to check out more. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Go over to their channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe because we are so close to half a million and we are going to have a party. It's going to be really fun. Be there or, or don't, I guess, if you've got better things to do. But be there in a couple of weeks. If we make it, we might not make it to half a million. We might just stop and not get any more subscribers at this point. But if you aren't, please subscribe so we can drink a bunch of mead on channel. <laughs> Until next time, I love you all. Goodbye.